everybody and welcome back to our channel. We just wanted to chat about um, some life lessons that we've learned over the last year. Um, so over the last year we've been fortunate enough to go on two trips. Um, our first one was to Florida and we got to go to Disney World, um, Universal Studios and it really worked out very well for us um, in the timing aspect because um, both of us had some time off work. We had, we went for nine days, um, so we were lucky enough to get that amount of time off, as well as um, a friend of ours was staying down in Florida. Um, she was going to be staying there for two months, and she had rented out a house, and she said that we were welcome to come down and stay with her. Um, so for us, like we were really fortunate in, number one, being able to get time off work to go, and number two, that saved us a lot of money, not having to rent a place, not having to rent a car, um, our food budget because they had bought groceries and stuff and like we pitched in for groceries and, and all that but um, it was much less than it would have cost us if we had gone down there alone and had to like go Airbnb it and that kind of stuff. So we did save quite a bit of money going down so we were able to um, purchase airplane tickets as well as tickets to go to both Disney World and um, Universal. So we were really lucky in that aspect, and I just remember leading up to that, being really resistant to like wanting to go. Like I didn't really want to go because um, it was going to be really expensive. We ended up spending; it was still kind of expensive because the Canadian dollar is absolute crap and the American dollar is really high. So it was still fairly expensive. But if it wasn't for our friend being down there already. Um, knowing the area too and being able to because she came with us to Disney World a couple times so being able to take us there um, we also borrowed a car a few times when we went out um, so being able to do that like there was a lot of benefits so anyways kind of rambling Dalton on. and I are so different because I'm always the one who I want to go on trips I want to spend money like I don't really care about money that much and he's always the one who says like we should save money like Yes, obviously going on vacation would be nice, but it would be better to pay off student debt first or we have to pay bills first and all that stuff. So I feel like we kind of balance each other out and like have helped each other because like he helps me not spend as much, but I also help him want to go on vacation. Live. Yeah. So it's like you have to look. For the right opportunity to do things mm -hmm. so when florida came up and we already had a place to stay so that was going to save us a lot of money we had someone to show us around that was going to save stress and it worked up well with both of us having that time off mm -hmm. i took that as a sign as we should just go we can worry about the money later as long as we can pay rent and pay our bills and eat then I think we should use the extra money to go and explore the world because that's what we like to do. We like traveling. We want to see a lot of places. Going to Disneyland was on my bucket list, so it was just something I really needed to do, and it just felt right. Disney it, World. Disney World in Orlando. So it's so <laughs> hard. Get down. What are you doing? Just sit down, pooch. Yeah, so I think that's a big a big lesson was that was our first trip to like or no it wasn't our no. first trip we, our first trip was to the Dominican last year that was our first trip of this year um and yeah it, it was one of those things like we'd been talking about it for months um and trying to plan like how can we afford it um what sorts of things can we do to you know save some money in the meantime to save up to go and one of the big things that we did was we told everybody for Christmas um before we went um, as well as her birthday, all of the things leading up to when we went, we told our families, like, we just want cash. Like, don't buy us presents or don't anything like that. If you want to, like, give us something, we just want cash because we want to go to Florida and that's kind of thing. And that helps because we we didn't, like, want everything. So you kind of have to decide what you want and prioritize that. You kind of have to decide what you want as your top priority and then work towards that as a goal. So yeah. leading up to that trip, we didn't really buy any new toys or new clothes or new like things that we didn't actually need um it was really just trying to save the money and like put money into a savings account yeah. to see like we knew how much it was going to cost us and i think it cost us um it was around fifteen hundred dollars each like yeah. with the plane ticket the disney tickets which i actually got for storm for her birthday um long before we went 
And that is also another thing. Like, if you have the time to plan before your trip, then to buy those things ahead of time, sometimes you can get, like, discounts and things like that. But that's, like, nothing. Another big thing we did was we stopped eating out. We like to eat out a lot. Mm -hmm. So we stopped eating out to save that money. Um, every time we had a deal where any time one of us brought up eating out, we would have to put a chunk of our money towards the trip. We would yeah, take. so basically we have this thing and we've been doing it like on and off for probably the last like five years um, where we'll go into these different like we're trying to save money. It's like a phase. We're really trying to save money for whatever we want. Um, and we'll say like, okay. If I suggest, let's say I really want to go to Eastside Mario's, I'll say like, oh, we should go to Eastside Mario's. And then Storm will shut it down and be like, no, nope, we're not going to Eastside Mario's. We're trying to save money. Like, she'll kind of convince me like, no, like, you know, give up on the craving. We're trying to save money. We want to go on this trip. So that's, that's that. Like, we're not going. And then I have to put $40 because our average bill at Eastside Mario's would be $40. So we have to put, I have to put $40 of my own money in our account or whatever we have going on for that trip it doesn't really make sense anymore now that we have joint bank accounts but it still puts still that money it. it still puts that money aside yeah so anyways that was disney and that was kind of that trip um and then the same sort of thing happened again a few months later when we were going to grenada so the thing about grenada was we had wanted to go on a trip. We wanted to go to an all-inclusive resort, um, and we were kind of looking. We we said um, I can't remember what we paid for Grenada. I think it was twelve hundred. I think it was twelve hundred too. We had said like thirteen hundred dollars based on like how much money we make and how much money we know that we're able to save, um, given like two three months ahead of time. We know that like thirteen hundred dollars per person for an all-inclusive resort for a week is a decent price like yeah. we're okay with spending that so when it came to Grenada we were looking at doing trips it was I think February the middle of February the end of February we started looking and there was nothing there was nothing affordable um we except to go for in April just put that up there. was it April yeah we went in April the no. end of April yeah it was the very end of April because May was we were in there in May Anyways, there was nothing we could afford other than um, Mexico, uh, Cuba, Cuba, and the Dominican. And we had been to the Dominican the last year, so we didn't want to go back to the Dominican because we want to go to as many places as we can to see and experience those things. And Mexico and Cuba are both on our don't-care-to-go-to list, so neither of us want to go to those places. So anyways, long story short... We found Grenada for twelve hundred bucks after like weeks and weeks of looking. Yeah, we, we thought were... we weren't going anywhere. Yeah. Um, so we found Grenada within our budget, and Storm was like, "Oh, we should book this. Like, this is a really good deal. Um, whatever." And at that point, it was so far along, like down the mentality of, "Oh, we're not going somewhere this year because we can't afford it. Like, everything's too expensive." That I had kind of checked out. I was like, "We're not going on a trip." that's too bad but oh well like we're going we're just gonna you know save that money that we've already started to put aside and use it for something else like we can put it towards whatever um so i was kind of checked out of that mentality of really wanting to go on a trip so when she found it because storm is one that was looking most of the time when she found it she said like this is a really good deal and grenada is generally a very expensive island um all the other resorts that we could find were like three thousand per person the only reason that our resort was so cheap was because um, they were closing down. It was like six days after we left. It was less than that. It was like four. Yeah. Like we were the last group. Yeah. And it was like four or five days after we had left that they were shutting down the entire resort and just renovating the whole thing. I was driving to work one day and I was listening to this song. It was, I was listening to like a playlist of music. This is going to sound really corny. But I was listening to the song. Um, I, I don't even know what it's called. I'll try and find it. We can like post it in the description or something, but I can't remember what it's called. But basically the lyric is like, um, time won't let me go. And it says basically, um, my life is over and like, I'm old now. Um, and time won't let me go back to relive those memories. And like, where was my summer of 69? So if you guys know like the Brian Adams song, everybody knows that song, <laughs> summer of 69. It's like the best summer of the guy's life. And in this song, which I can't remember the name of, 
um, he says, like, where was my summer of 69? What, where was my um, cherry doll or something? And basically, I was, like, thinking in that, like, yeah, like, life is short. Like, everybody says it. Our parents say it. Our friends say it. Like, how quickly time is going by. So live it to the fullest, I guess. Like, I don't really know where I'm going here, but that's basically it. Like, take the opportunities that you're given. If you can afford them, you know, make memories with them. So in this chance, we were given the opportunity to go to an island that was going to be very expensive. After this renovation was done, it would probably be 3000 per I, person. I recently looked it up and it was, I think, 3100 per person. Yeah, so exactly that. Like, we kind of knew that if we didn't go now, we're never going to end up going. Like, unless yeah. we get really lucrative jobs and, like, we want to spend 3000 But to me, like, just doing that math right now, $3,000 each for one week, like, that doesn't even make any sense. I would just, I would rather go back to the Dominican, like, a second time yeah. or something like we that. we probably so, never go to Grenada. As, no. as beautiful as the island is. It was is, amazing. We would never go for that much money. No, I think that's just a little too much. Yeah. So, anyways, my point is, like, I, that was kind of the tipping point for me. I listened to that song and I was just kind of like, you know what? Let's make the memories because, again, we were given this opportunity. Like, the, the island will never be affordable for us, so let's go. And then it was kind of at the same time that I had decided I was going to propose to Storm. And I thought, hey, like, it kind of falls perfectly as well because I want to propose to her. We love going on all-inclusive trips, like going to beaches and going out, you know, to all these islands and stuff. So why not propose on an island? So at that time, I was kind of like, okay, like, Let's just do it. Um, and then, yeah. It just works out. I mean, just like I said, you have to look for the signs and realize what's right. And that's kind of what happened in the next scenario. Yeah. <laughs> so then there was a, the third scenario um, where it was like two, no, it was like few, five or six months ago. Um, we were talking with your dad and your grandma, mm -hmm. and we were talking about how we wanted to just skip Christmas this year and, like, go away. We'd much rather just go away, hang out on a beach somewhere, celebrate Christmas with family there, um, and then just, like, enjoy our time. Because Christmas is such a stressful time of year, and we're kind of, like, we're long past the age that Christmas doesn't really matter. I love Christmas. I just want to put that out there that I am very festive, and I... We're going to love Christmas. So this is not like a boycott. We're not Christmas with the cranking style. No, here. We're, we're still, still going to decorate. We're still right? decorating and doing festivities. But in light of the recent events, we're going to the Bahamas for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So basically, we talked to our families and stuff and they had said like, yeah, we should go away. Um, so we've kind of been looking over the last few months. For trips um, and it was really expensive because Christmas is an extremely expensive time to travel um, and then we our families kind of all backed out like it was kind of a weird we were in like this weird situation where everybody was kind of like yeah we'll go but then like we'd ask them again and it would be like well maybe we'll go so they were kind of like in this weird state of yeah at first everybody was all yeah we're definitely gonna do it and then I guess yeah. they just changed their minds, but we still wanted to go. So, yeah, so we still wanted to go, and we talked to a couple of our friends. Um, we have another couple friend, and then my friend, single guy. Um, we talked to them and mentioned it, and they all said that they were really interested. Um, and so we had said, well, we the maximum we want to spend is $1,300. Like, that's really what we can afford right now. Um, and it's only if we can we can find one that goes down to that price and like obviously going to a place that we want to go to because yeah. Mexico and Cuba were both available for 1300 around 1300 um, but we just don't really have any interest in going to those places. So, yeah, long story short... Looked for weeks and weeks and... Weeks and weeks. Like, we've been looking for two months now. Yeah, there was nothing. Like, 1800 yeah. was the average and we're just not willing to go up that high. Well, we, we can't afford that. So, yeah. like I was saying before, like... Make memories, but responsibly. Like, if we picked a trip that was 1800 per person, that would put a serious financial strain on us right now. Like, we have bills that are constantly coming out, like phone bill, insurance, rent, uh, rent groceries, groceries like, loans. I have student loan payments I have to make. Like, there's so many things. So, we know how much is coming in every week, 
um, both of our salaries, obviously. Um, and then we know how much is going out. So we know that spending the 1300 per person, it will take us exactly five weeks to break even. So five weeks of saving some money and we break even, which really isn't like, we're not going five weeks as in like, we can't eat food. We can't, you know, like we can't do anything. No, we're still very comfortable with that. Yeah. It's five weeks of, of non, moderating is, our spending. Yeah. The only thing we're giving up is eating out yeah. as often as we usually do. Exactly. We try not to eat out that often. Like, and when we do, we try to be healthy about it because we are into that. But yeah, we, it's usually like once a week. We but... won't be eating out at all, really, for the next five weeks. Like probably yeah. once or twice, maybe like maximum four times. We probably won't even eat that out that much. I don't. Know. Also, because we're going on vacation, so we're trying to watch what we eat as well. Yeah. So, yeah. So it kind of fell into our lap. It was thirteen hundred bucks. Um, it was twelve eighty five per person. And so we had said, like, we were crazy, like, Bahamas, too. Like, Bahamas is a very expensive place to go um, for, like, a decent resort, all-inclusive, yeah. all that kind of stuff. So we went to our friends and we said, look, we found one. It's twelve eighty-five, And they were like, oh, okay, like, let us talk about it. So 12 hours goes by. And usually the price changes a lot. If you've ever gone on trips, you, you know that. It changes a lot. And so they hesitated and kind of said, like, okay, we've decided we're not going to go. Um, we have some things coming up that we have to pay for and we're just worried like it'll be a financial strain. So we're like, okay, that's, that's completely fine. Um, and, and then them hesitating yeah. made us hesitate. So we kind of did the same thing and we were like, okay, well, how about we just leave it overnight and if the price is still the same tomorrow, then we'll book it. So we woke up the next morning and it was 1315. So the price had gone up 30 bucks. And both of us were, were still kind of on the fence. Like we were like, well, it did go up. So maybe that's a sign. Um, because we said if the price doesn't go up, then we'll buy it. Um, but the price went up, but not like way over our budget. No. Um, and so we were like, okay, well, let's just think about it throughout the day. And like, if the price doesn't go up any higher tonight, then we'll just base our decision off of whatever that price. Is. Okay. That's really frustrating. Um, we just recorded another 20 minutes of video and it cut out on us because we ran out of storage. <laughs> so anyways, and so throughout the day, Storm was texting her dad and telling her like the whole story. And then he kind of gave us a little bit of validation basically and saying that um, we should go. Um, we've wanted to go on this trip for a while. Um, it came down finally to our budget and then, you know, it just kind of, it happened. Like you guys have the time off work, you should do the trip that you wanted to take. So, um, we kind of decided at that moment that, yeah, we were going to do it. So when we got home from work that day, um, the price was still thir 13, 15. Um, and so we said like, let's, let's book it. So we let our friends know we're going to book it. And at the same time, they said to us, um, can we call you and talk about the trip? So we thought they were just going to say like, oh, you know, we can't afford it and like whatever. Basically, they had the exact same thing happen that day was they were talking to their parents and they said, you guys should really go on the trip. Um, you've been stressed out lately. A trip would be really nice for you. Um, you'll have a great time. Go on the trip. So it was really weird that at the exact same time, we both got this validation from somebody else to, to take the leap and go on this trip. So, yeah, I mean, at the, at the end of the day, like, we all booked our tickets, the four of us booked our tickets, and then I texted my other friend, um, and he was at work, and he, just to let him know that, you know, this is what's happening, um, we're going on the trip, um, he, at that point, was still saying that he wasn't going to come because of the money, um, finance is a little bit of a touchy subject, so, you know, I wasn't going to try and pressure him into coming or anything, um, but I just wanted to let him know. And so he texted me back after his shift and he said that, yeah, basically, um, the guys at work has, have convinced me that I should go. Um, so it was just extremely weird that we all got this external validation from some source. Um, and we all just kind of knew that it was the right thing to do and to go on this trip. So anyways, we're going to the Bahamas. Super exciting, um, and I think it's going to be an amazing time. It's so awesome to be going with friends. Um, I think we're just going to have an incredible time. I'm so excited. 
Yeah, and I really think that uh, we're going to make some good memories, and it's going to be worth it. It's just so interesting to see how everybody needs the validation. Like, mm -hmm. even though you want to do it, there's not really anything stopping you except for yourself. And then you go and you get this validation from yeah. a family member or a friend, and as soon as they say, yeah, you should do it, then that's it, you're doing it. Yeah. It's just so interesting to me that everybody needs this validation. Like I said before, you really, you should live by, you know, wanting to make memories responsibly. So if vacationing is what you like, just like us, like that, I would say is our top priority in terms of what we want to spend our money on. Our main goal above buying a house would be to travel as much as possible. I think that if the opportunity presents itself and you're in a financially stable condition where you can do it and it's not going to put you in stress or strain then you should do it yeah i definitely agree and i think that the stress part of that is really important like stress is so painful to deal with and if you're going to put yourself into financial stress which is probably the worst type of stress that you can be in um don't do it. Like That means the opportunity that. is not there. No, it's not worth putting yourself in financial strain at all. Um, so You really have to look at the yeah. sign. If you have extra money and that's what you want to spend your money on, then mm -hmm. do it. This yeah. is your validation. Life is short. You need to take the leap. You yeah. need to give yourself a break. And make memories. Yeah, I mean, life is not just meant to work and pay bills. Yeah. You have to enjoy it. We were able to do it without putting ourselves under strain. And even now, like, I have student debt. Like, I've got debt. We were planning uh, for a wedding, right? So we have these debt. You know, the wedding's not debt yet, but it is money that we, and we are need and we want to spend. So, yeah, we've got some money saved up by like our initial estimates we have like a fifth of the money already saved up and we're not planning on getting married for at least one year probably two years so we have one fifth of the money already saved yeah um and then i have student debt which i'm slowly like chipping away at as i can and i'm not even graduated yet so just because you have debt doesn't mean you can't do things exactly as long as you can make the payment for the debt you have make your credit card mm -hmm. payments make your student loan payments don't sacrifice those so that you can go somewhere. Make sure you make those. Right. And then make those and you can still go places. Like That's what I was trying to get at. I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> make memories responsibly. That's really what we're trying to say here. If you can afford to take that trip or buy that toy, you know, if you want a quad or you're looking at getting a new truck or something like that, and the opportunities present themselves in a way that it's not going to put you in financial strain, then go for it. That's the message. Remember that you only live once. This is your validation. Yeah. Do what you want. Do what pleases you. Whatever makes you happy, as long as it does not put you in stress. Yes. It's funny that you say that you only live once, because remember when YOLO came out? I know. Like, when it first came out, everybody thought it was the biggest joke. When Drake started singing and everybody was like, what? Yeah, everybody was like, oh, he's like an idiot. Like, all the parents, like, I remember yeah. my parents, all my friends' parents, thinking it was the stupidest thing. And then people started making videos because they turned it into a joke. And it was like, people would jump off their shed and, like, smash. You know, and it was like, uh, uh, YOLO. But really, now that we're all kind of over that phase... It's like, it, those are words to live by. You only live once. Like, get out there and do something that you're proud of and ha it makes you happy. Like, YOLO and everything happens for a reason are my two mottos. Those are good mottos to have. <laughs> That's why I've gone on three vacations this year, people. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to wrap this video up now. We've already had to record this twice. <laughs> Super frustrating. Um, we should definitely make another video on financial stuff yeah um let us know in the comments below if that's something that you want to see and we'll make that sooner than later because we kind of already have our next few videos planned out um, but that would be a really good one to make i think yeah um especially for people our age so let us know if that's something you want and we can prioritize that for you guys thanks for watching don't forget to like and Please. hit that subscribe button it really yes. means a lot to us if you at least like the video um yes. that way we know that somebody's watching <laughs> 
Um, and yeah, we'll see you next week.